hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time watching me hi i'm Gigi. so in today's video i'm gonna be getting ready um i don't really have anywhere to go but um i want to talk about some things and i thought like you know filming and get ready with me would be the perfect way to talk about those topics so i'm gonna get straight into it if you haven't been living under a rock um, you probably know about, you probably already know about the um, explosion that happened in um, Beirut, Lebanon, where I live, um, on August 4th. Um, I don't live in Beirut, I live like a couple minutes away from Beirut, but I still felt and experienced the um, explosion. Um, like, thankfully, I was safe, my family was safe, and everyone I know was safe and not harmed. It literally was a very traumatic experience, um, to say so the least. I was literally getting ready to go out that day and um, I was like in front of the mirror and I was getting ready, you know, getting myself ready to go out and it happened. And um, I literally felt like the, like the mirror was gonna explode in my face. And I thought at first it was like a, um, an earthquake but it was not it was such a weird situation and such a weird experience and such a terrifying experience um, like when I started like when I turned the TV on and started watching the news I was literally devastated I was literally in tears watching almost half of Beirut be just like gone basically um, all the places where I used to go, like, you know, have drinks and, like, go out with friends, they don't exist anymore. They're, like, completely shattered. And um, I wish that was only what happened, but over 300,000 individuals or families, if, if you will, lost their homes and are now homeless. And there was over 150 or 200 people that lost their lives. Um, like this was at first I didn't think it was that serious but then when I started seeing all those numbers and over a thousand injured people and so many people lost so many of their belongings and their jobs and their cars and so like it's just it's just a lot it just was such a terrifying experience and uh, like of course I'm very grateful that um, you know nothing happened to me or my family but still watching all those people like just basically cry for help it was so um i i felt so helpless i was literally in like survivor guilt like i was feeling so guilty and so frustrated but um and it took me a couple days to adjust um it's been about three weeks now and there are like still 50 people missing and like it's crazy and the only way i was able to help really was like to donate and to share donation links which i am gonna link in the description box of this video in case you want to help out you know people even if it's with one dollar five dollars it does not really matter this can still have help a family you know to eat or to have you know to get their basic needs and if you are not able to donate yourself um, still sharing the links and um, getting more like your friends your family your like anyone you know to donate and just help because like we really need it I know you might be thinking like what the f she's playing with makeup right now and she's like I know but like this is my kind of therapy like makeup is my therapy and like you know, being able to, I haven't worn makeup in like three weeks and um, ever since the, the explosion and um, this, is my, this is my way of coping with it. This channel is literally my job, literally the only job I have and um, I needed to talk about this whole situation, like, you know, shed light on it kind of. Like I do have a platform, it's not a huge platform but it still is one and i feel like i needed to talk about it but i was just waiting for the right time and um while doing my makeup because like you know this is my therapy this is how i cope with things through makeup that you know that <laughs> wow it literally broke my brush um i know that's like kind of shallow but you know it is it's how i cope with you know everything in my life so i did my lashes off camera and it literally took me like 
half an hour to apply them on and um, all the products that I'm using in this video are going to be linked in the description box also so you can check that out. Um, I'm going to get into my face now. I look a mess. Like I haven't been getting any sleep, literally. This is not foundation. This is primer. That Imagine me putting on a foundation this orange. I've done that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I was saying, um, as I was talking about, you know, the situation here in Lebanon, um, it's a mess. Um, not only we've, you know, went through this explosion, but we've been going through an economical crisis inflation I don't really remember the terms but um, we've been going through that too and literally nothing is affordable here in Lebanon anymore like literally everything is so expensive even food like even the basic needs some people are not being able to get them like imagine how messed up of a situation we are in so yeah with everything happening in the country and over the world in general and in my personal life i've just been finding it so hard to just be happy just be positive even though i always preach about being positive no matter what but i've been finding it really hard recently with everything happening and as you've read from the title of this video and as you've as you've seen in the thumbnail i got engaged <laughs> not really engaged but proposed to um by my ex-boyfriend and um no this is not the ring he bought me i bought this ring myself oh! like him and i broke up literally a year ago <laughs> and um uh he was literally not over me and he was you know we were still in contact for the past couple of months um and literally a week ago he called me and he was like um get ready i'm gonna come pick you up and i want to see you tonight before you know i'm like, like before i travel tomorrow that was like a week ago and i was like excuse me what <laughs> you're leaving and so, you know, I got ready, he came and picked me up and we went to his place and we chilled there. We had a few drinks and stuff like that and, you know, we spoke about a lot of things um, regarding our relationship and like, like ourselves, like, you know, the things we've been through over the past couple of months and um, he literally, okay, this is hard, I can't speak. <laughs> He literally told me that he was leaving to Canada the next day and that he wanted to see me before he leaves and he wanted to take me with him basically. He wanted me to go with him to Canada and um, you know, I am not ready to travel right now for many reasons and um, he literally told me like, I want you to come with me. Of course, not, you know, not the same, not, not the next day because like, not that easy but um he literally asked me to go with him and he asked me to marry him and he was like um i know i've been really um like not good to you i have not treated you well and i've taken you for taken you for granted and um i want to go and like pursue my career and like my future and everything and um i would love it if you would come with me like you know, he wanted to go there, get settled and stuff like that, and then sent for me and, um, like, you know, live with him there and, like, get married and stuff like that. And um, I was literally, like, so shook and I was looking at him like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Like, what? <laughs> like, we, we broke up. Like, you know, we broke up because he was ashamed of me. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he was ashamed of me being trans and um, he was scared of what his friends, his family, society would say, and um, he loved me, he still does still this day, but, um, you know, it, it was not easy. Dating a trans woman is not easy, especially in a f***ed up country like this, so um, that was the reason we broke up. I literally did not want to be hidden or kept a secret, and um, he wanted that. We were still in contact because we really had love for each other, you know, we really did love each other at one point um i think now personally i finally got over him 
Um, it took me some time. I like, you know, cried myself to sleep so many nights. I woke up in such a bad mood because of this whole situation for, like, for such a long time. But now, I am finally over him. And when I was, he literally like called me and he was like, hey, wanna marry me? So it was kind of like, I, it, it took me by surprise, I'm not gonna lie, and he was so serious about it. But then I thought about something, which is why I said no. Um, like, I told him, like, um, you want to marry me, you want me to be with you, but you don't want to do it here. You, like, he's going mainly for his career, because, like, his job here is, like, he got kicked out of his job here, and he's, like, you know, he was struggling for a while, and that's why he's leaving. But um, I was like, you, you like kept me a secret here and you mistreated me. And now that you're able to leave and start a new page, you want to marry me and you want to take me with you and stuff like that. Like, why can't you do this here? Like, why did you not do this here? He was like, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, you know, I was not ready and I'm still not ready for this huge step in my life. Um, like, you know to come out, you know, as dating me and stuff like that. And um, he was like, you know, it's not easy. And I, I'm not that much, I'm not that like much of a confident man in myself and I'm not really secure in myself. So that's why it was hard for me to, you know, go public with you and like tell everyone like, hey, this is my girlfriend, like, she's trans, they could relieve it. Um, oh God, I look good. I look crazy. Um, so I was like, you know, like, I respect that, you know, you told me that and you were really honest about that. But um, this is not really the type of guy I want for myself. Um, I want someone that's going to be proud of me. I want someone that's going to root for me and someone that's going to be like, hey, she's my girlfriend, you know, take it or leave it. If you don't want to be friends with me, if you don't want to talk to me, if you want to kick me out of my job, if you want to do anything you know it's not like from his side it's not gonna matter i love her and you know just deal with it but um you know he, he told me i'm not that secure and i told him and i'm not that confident and i told him i i cannot be with someone like that and um the fact that she want to take me away and hide me somewhere else or at least be public about my, your relationship with me somewhere else where no one knows you, no one knows who the you are, or no one knows who the I am, um, you know, I was like, no, this is not, this is not the way I would like to be treated, and um, I told him, like, I really wish you the best of luck, and we literally ended, ended it there. You know, he's a really great guy, and I'm pretty sure he's watching this, and right now and like sorry i am talking about you on my channel but hey i need to update my babies and tell them what the f i was going through so right now i am baking my under eyes and um it is 4 20 p.m right now and um i need to this is perfect timing and i need to go get baked myself so um i'm gonna have a little smoke break so be right back <laughs> So my face is baked, I am baked, and now let's get to bronzing and contouring. I sure need it. I look like a freaking egg right now. So what I want to talk about next is um, a couple days ago in Hollywood, in LA, um, three trans women were attacked. One of them is Eden the Doll, which I follow on Instagram and YouTube. I really enjoy her content and she's really fun. Um, and two other trans women, but I, I don't really know their names, but I'm just gonna um, name them here, put them here on the screen. Um, they were attacked by a bunch of straight cis men in Hollywood. So the phone or what happened? What the fuck? Get the fuck up, bitch! 
I will call every neighborhood Christian. Get your ass. Lit up. Stop fucking with me. I'm not homeless. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and this crime, yes, I'm gonna call it crime, happened in Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay? So imagine what other trans women are experiencing in other parts of the world. Like, it's just crazy. Um, while I was watching this video, I was so mad and so angry and I just wish I was there to punch those guys in the face, literally. Um, you know, like I always say, um, us as trans women, we don't want your acceptance. We don't want you to accept us in this into society. We don't want you to praise us. We don't want you to talk about us. We just want you to respect us. Like what the hell? Like imagine a trans woman in Hollywood, three trans women in Hollywood waiting for an Uber, you know, to come pick them up and they get harassed and like um, violated and humiliated. Like what the hell? Like. Um, if you don't like trans people, that's all right, that's okay. But once you disrespect us and once you cross that line, that's when it's not okay. Literally nowhere in the world is safe, like nowhere. Like for us trans individuals and I think for everyone now, um, the, the world is so not safe. And this happened in the middle of a pandemic. Like what the hell? Like what? Can't people like just mind their own business, please? Like. Um, just mind your business, you know, like whenever you see someone that doesn't look, you know, like the, like everyone else, just mind your business. Like you can make fun of them. You can laugh if you want. Like, like I'm being totally honest. Like I don't care when I'm walking, you know, on the streets or if I'm going somewhere and people look at me and start laughing and, start, and be like, oh my God, that's a do. I don't care. Like, you know, that's, that's something I'm going to, I have to expect anyways. But once someone crosses that limit and, you know, comes towards me to like you know do whatever and that's when i'm like uh -uh, respect your boundaries respect my boundaries and like you know it's like it's like i don't know i don't even know why i'm talking about this like i know some people are never gonna change their minds and oh my god i spoke a lot my mouth is like dry That's vodka. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's just water. So, um, I don't know. Like, I don't think, like, you know, it, it doesn't matter how much we talk and how much we shed light on the topic. People are always going to be hateful. And like, that's just something in, you know, in us as humans, not, not, not me and you and like, whatever, but like, you know, it's, it's crazy. We live in a crazy world with everything that's been happening recently in Lebanon and the world everywhere I'm just like so over it I'm like I'm honestly waiting for the for the apocalypse I'm honestly waiting for it um, you know it's like we as human as a humanity we got to a point of no return you know with like the hate with the wars with the um, politics and religion and with like the global warming and just us not respecting the basically you know earth where we live and where we're born and where we die we're basically not respecting that and um you know that's just that's just tea you know like it's crazy like you know that's why i'm like i'm like i've been i was talking to my mom about this the other day i'm like i am so over the world right now like i'm just like if the world ends, I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be like, okay, I think, I hope the world ends this year. <laughs> oh my God, that's so dark. But like, I, like, you know, people were saying 2020, like it's the end of the year and end of the world. And like, um, so many things are happening. I'm like, I hope so, please. Like just, we don't deserve to be here, honestly. And I think if you're watching this, you're going to relate to that. Like we don't deserve to, to live anymore as a humanity. It's not like certain people. It's like, humanity like we're so consumed with hate and hatred and um like greed and so many other up things that like you know it's just like 
as I said, it's like a point of no return. And that's just on period. Period! So, um, I, why am I trying to talk while I'm lining my lips? Like, I don't get it. Like, why am I putting myself in that situation? I don't know. I don't know. Oof, this is cute. But like, something lighter in the, in the middle. I'm gonna go finish everything. Like, I still, I only have mascara, like, and um, to fix my lips very quickly. And then I wanna go change. I wanna, like, you know, I wanna wear something cuter and figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. And then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. <laughs> so you guys, this is the final look. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling myself, I feel so good. And um, it's sad that, you know, we're in lockdown and no one's going to see me with, you know, like that. But hey, I got used to it. I just want to add one more thing. Um, I finally reached 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And um, I literally reached like 1K on August 4th, on the day of the explosion. And I wanted to celebrate and have like a little giveaway and stuff like that. But hey, like... I was like, oh no, it's not time for that. But still, so I want to thank each and every single one of you for subscribing, for following me, for um, keeping up with my mess and my inconsistency. But um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. And I always say this and I'm always going to say it. Um, I love you guys so much. And um, let's not get emotional right now. So before I end this video, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on to get notified for every new upload. And don't forget to check out the Tealicious channel, which is a channel I have in collaboration with my best friend, Sasha. Um, we haven't posted anything on it for a while, obviously. Um, but I promise you, once we're both ready, we're, you know, gonna get back into posting and like, we have so many, you know, videos planned and um, we can't wait to, you know, film and get back to it. So, um, finally, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm only on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and they're all glammed by Gigi. And as always, if you're interested in the products that I used on my face, they're all going to be listed in the description box of this video. And also, there's going to be a donation link that you can donate to to help the Lebanese people that are in desperate need right now. So um, if you can, that would be really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wanna thank you so much for watching it and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.